Right, so it's been a long time for uploading anything, but got a day off today and thought I'd get back to you. Uh, I've acquired a new bike to the collection and I thought I'd have a bit of fun with you and show you some of the thumbnails first and see if you can guess what it is. Like go something a little bit different, but I'm gonna do a slow reveal. As I say, for those who haven't got it yet from the thumbnails, which I'm sure some of you will, we're gonna slowly peel back the cover, never ending cover, and do the reveal. And this is probably where the elastic gets caught around the top of it and pulls it over. Yep, we have one wing mirror. We have a little bit of fairing another wig mirror and it's coming back a bit more a bit more reveal and we have a tank and yes you can see by the emblem on the tank what make it is and there's a little bit more tank a little bit of seat peeling back we lost focus and ta-da we have a honda VTR Firestorm V-Twin and unless you've ridden a V-Twin then you're missing out in life they are lovely bikes sorry but I don't include Harleys in that category but V-Twins they say they put a grin on your face and once you've ridden one it will do because the torque is just amazing on it and they're just really nice driving riding characteristics but yes we've got a 1999 uh, Honda VTR Fire, not Fire Blood, what I'm talking about, Honda VTR Firestorm. And I picked this up the other day. It's got a few aftermarket goodies on it. It's got two Scorpion cans on there, which makes it sound really nice. And as you can see there, it's going out of focus, but we've got Olin shock on it, which obviously you can adjust it from there. And I believe it's got a jack up kit on there as well. And the forks have been lowered, I think, by 5mm on the headstock, which is supposed to improve the uh, handling on it. But I'll probably take that mount off the back of the uh, shock and restore it to uh, normal settings. But it's got a hugger on there. And I've got the rear cow for it. I've got the belly pan, which is here, which I'm going to repaint it and put that back on and it's got the rear seat cowl which again it's a bit tatty but looks nice with it on anyway but walking around the bike so the tires are pretty good condition it's got a year's mot on there it's got i thought there's braided hoses now the regular hoses on there it's got a braided clutch hose that's what i see uh probably got aftermarket grips on there but yeah that's the braided clutch hose on there what i want to do is uh i want to put a set of high-rise handlebars on there i don't mean like ape hangers i just mean like i want it just slightly raised i'm not sure whether to go for ones that go to the uh top of the fork or get a new triple tree that'll take the bar so i can get like either a, a flat bar or like a rental conversion just to sit up a bit straighter so it's not so much pressure on my wrists and a bit more comfortable riding position. But needs headlight, uh, speedo bulbs, they've gone. And choke cable, which is down here, that's really stiff. So I've got one of those ordered, which should come in the next couple of days. So I'll do a quick video on the, removing the tank and then replacing the choke cable and what else have i got oh and the seat cover i say that looks original seat cover but it's split around the front there so i've got a nice new seat cover to come again that should come hopefully this weekend uh and i'll video that putting that on as well replacing that and it's quite a nice one it's come from poland i believe but it's all stitched it's got like red piping around there and it's got like the vtr 
insignia stitched into the uh, seat as well and I think it's like red piping around here but it should pimp it up a little bit and basically I just want to get it cleaned up and get it running nice and say put a different set of bars on there so it's a bit nicer to ride but I will do a video I'll go and get the keys and I'll do a video of it starting up and I'm sure you will like the sound of it they do sound lovely so come back to you in a minute right got the key ignition on it's got 41,000 miles on the clock which okay considering the age it's not a lot but uh, uh, it runs nice so let me start it up then see what start that had been started for a week and uh, it started out quite nice to say the choke cable was really really stiff on it so uh, that hopefully that will come and I can change that over but it started up straight away I know it's in the garage but it sounded lovely no cam chain rattle I did notice it has had the uh, cam chains the manual cam chain adjustment uh, tensioner apparently these are prone for letting go not these ones but the automatic ones are prone for letting go and uh, have the pistons dancing around with the valves a bit so that's been changed on there and apparently it's a good recommendation for any VTR if you've got the automatic tensioners on there to get them changed over for the manual I don't think they're very expensive and I think it's quite an easy job to do but I'm sure there's some videos on YouTube saying that but yeah that's it that's started and as I say I'll come back to you in a couple of days when I can get the choke cable put on and right choke cable came today and also the seat cover so I'll be doing a little video in uh, a while to show you how the choke cable goes on obviously I have to take the tank off and disconnect the old cable and install the new cable here's the seat cover which arrived today from uh, Poland thank you very much Poland and uh, I got that off eBay so I'll be showing you a video how to remove the old seat cover and how to install the new one so that looks like the original seat cover there and some of the foam seems a bit hard or like it's worn away so I might be replacing some of the foam underneath there as well but happy with this new seat cover as well it's got all the nice piping on there and uh, it's nicely stitched in it's got the grippy seat bit for the driver and the pillion and passenger as well and also it's nicely sewn in as well where uh, your bump stop is so it will sit nicely to the contours of the seat but as I say when I get five minutes I'll be doing a video of that and I'll be able to show you what's going on and uh, I look forward to uh, putting that seat cover on so so I got to edit over this one but the microphone wasn't working for some reason when I was doing the video so please bear with me and hopefully you get this perfect again apologize for not uploading anything on my channel for a while but with work commitments I've been really busy I hope you all stay safe out there and I'll get back to you when I get the choke cable done and well when I'm doing the choke cable and I'll fit the seat cover and I'll leave you with a sneak peek of uh, my new acquirement and I'll be doing a video upload of that as well so stay safe and look forward to seeing you soon thanks so much bye for now